Okay, here we've created uh, a control uh, spline, and um, this could be any shape, it's just a spline, it could be any uh, shape that you want, and we're just going to use this to drive the waves. As you can see, I've animated it, um, rotating and also moving forward, so you'll need to uh, do that um, as well. Uh, but once the uh, control spline um, has been created, uh, we need to then use the reaction manager. And uh, if we open that up, you can see it's absolutely blank. But here we have to add the master, um, which is uh, our control uh, spline there. So just add that. And we go to the transform rotation and the X rotation. Uh, then to that we need to add a slave and uh, the, the slave is basically the line, so it's the wave that needs to be the slave of the thing that's driving it. So we go to the morpher. Um, once that's set up, um, as you can see, it's all, all good there for the master and the slave. And then we just create two different states and we move between 0 and 180 degrees of the rotation of the control spline. And uh, this basically then just drives the morph of the line uh, so that it morphs between um, uh, yeah, the profile uh, of it uh, over time and that does it between the angle of the control spline. So hopefully that makes sense, I know that's a bit, little bit complicated but um, there you go.